One of the distinct differences or characteristics of the actual yogi is that in many ways they are like modern scientists because they employ the laws of, of logic. Things need to be logical. They are very involved in, in observation, but they are different in, in, in contrast to, to ordinary scientists in that they are not simply engaged in an external world, external, outside of themselves. They also become very involved in what we call an internal world. They are working internally as, as well as externally. So they do not limit, unlike, unlike conventional scientists, they do not limit their search for truth only to that which is outside of myself. That the yogic process um, involves scientific research um, or inner work, observation of and learning about the nature of my mind, my behaviors, and my actions. This is what constitutes part of the whole um, yoga process. I mean, it's quite amazing how people in general in life don't learn from their experience. They have this saying, what is the definition of insanity? It's repeating the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Isn't that not what kind of like most people are doing in life? I mean, how many times are you going to go searching for love? How many times are you going to have your heart broken? How many times are you going to be disappointed in relationships? How many times are you going to be frustrated in your search for peace and happiness? And yet, in spite of all the disappointment, I mean, if, if we look at things, I mean, the quest for happiness, there is this drive that everyone has for happiness. You, do you know anybody that's looking for sadness? Even the masochist is looking for what? Pleasure. Huh? Pleasure. They're looking for pleasure. But they have developed this distorted idea, if I somehow torture myself or a sadist that inflicts misery or pain or suffering on others, that at the end of it there's going to be this intense pleasurable experience. So even you get twisted people, you will find that everyone, no one is seeking out unhappiness, disappointment. Everybody is searching for pleasure. We are convinced that it exists. But if we ask the question, in my life, how much actual pleasure do I experience every day? When is the last time I was profoundly happy? We're talking about elation. Just not just a little giggle. We're talking about going off big time, you know, just being just lost in a pleasurable experience. How frequently does it happen and how long does it last? Most people, their life is actually quite boring. There are momentary little flashes of titillation or some excitement. But when we're talking about actual, real, deep pleasure, people are probably 
lucky to experience about 15 minutes a day. And given that there's something like 1,440 minutes in a day, 15 minutes doesn't sound like a very good experience. Doesn't sound very worthwhile. If I was asked to work for 1,440 hours and get paid for 15, would I think that was a good deal? You couldn't even force me to do it. But in the hunt for pleasure, somehow I think that that's basically okay. When we look at our own life, when we look at our parents, when we look at our relatives, when we look at our friends, how many people do we actually know that are profoundly happy? If we are very honest, it's kind of like not, not that good odds. Yet, in spite of all the miserableness that we experience and we see around us, we have this longing and we have this belief that it is something that can be acquired, that we can actually find. In this yoga system, we look at these things in a very practical, we examine these things in, a, in, a, in, a, in order to try and ascertain, in order to come to conclusions, to discover where real, for instance, happiness can be found. And it really involves this study, as we spoke of, about the nature of the mind, the nature of our behaviors, the type of behaviors that we've adopted, the type of actions that we are engaged in. And it's looking at things in a very introspective way. It is not boring. It's not difficult. It's all very, very practical. 